Hey guys, Greg C96 here with the morning commute number 14, I believe it is. I think I'm actually right for once. Yes, yeah, so I'm here in the morning commute. Um, you're not going to see much in the way of videos till later in the week because over the weekend I had my motherboard fail on my desktop. So my desktop is currently down for the count. Um, yeah, so I'm not very happy about that. I have a new motherboard that should be coming in either this afternoon or tomorrow. I'm hoping this afternoon, but I doubt it. So should be coming in tomorrow. Got my new power supply. I'm just replacing that because I don't know if that killed it. I'm really hoping that the CPU didn't die as well. Because if the CPU died, I am in trouble with that because if the CPU died, that's a weird intersection there, like no traffic lights right now. I don't know what's going on with it. Are they eliminating it maybe? No idea. Whatever. But yeah, so um... Yeah, anyway, so if my CPU is dead, that means I have to order that too, which puts me in a total of about four, 350 on repairing my PC. But it needs to get done. Because the PC is the center for all of my workflow. Like, even when I'm at school, I tend to just use my laptop to remote into my desktop. So I do most of my work on my desktop as is. But I did check the SSD out in my test bench and that's all good. OS is fine, which is obviously a very good thing. But, um, yeah, so the OS is fine. Um, motherboard is messed up, which is why it wouldn't let me boot from a, a USB or anything like that. So, wah wah. But yeah. So, um, that's what's going on this week. I will bring you a video of basically me building a PC, because other than, like, hard drives and whatnot, I kind of have to take everything out and then rebuild it. So, <laughs> we'll see that kind of a video coming soon. And this person will let them pass me since they're being a jerk. But yeah, that's basically what's going on for me this week is I have to find some time in between everything else I do to fix the PC so that I can bring videos to you again like I've been promising I will do. So this week will be probably a whole lot of uh, vlogs. Probably a whole lot of vlogs, yeah. Because obviously I still commute every morning. The only thing I don't like about doing a lot of vlogs is my life is not that interesting. I don't know. Maybe we'll start doing a story time video series or something. But yeah, so no. PC down means can't start on the mod of Minecraft, can't start on this. My laptop does not handle well at all. Uh, my laptop hasn't handled Minecraft well since I started my channel. <laughs> and even that, I didn't handle it well. It handled it at like 40 FPS. Which isn't terrible, but compared to what I'm used to now, I'm getting up in the hundreds, it's, it's not good. So, that's a thing. So, basically, anything gaming is going to be holding off for a bit. Um, CSGO runs like crap on my Mac. It might run okay on the Windows side. I haven't tried that. But I'm just going to spend the week focusing on, you know, getting my PC back up and running. And really hoping it's not the CPU. It's a CPU only test. But, hey, it is what it is, I guess, right? Anyways, that's enough of me ranting about my PC. Um, 
I'm really hoping I'll still have time to get the GNL shows edited up. Because I haven't, I have two GNL shows in waiting. I haven't had the chance to edit. And now I really don't have the chance to edit them. I was planning on doing it yesterday, but my PC died. Because this was like Thursday, where I was like, yeah, I'll get them on Sunday and I can get the first one on Monday, like it should be. Well, that didn't happen. But I'm gonna see if I can maybe, like, possibly use my sister's computer to do it. Uh, see if she'll let me do that so I can at least get the GNL shows done. But, I don't know. We'll see what happens there. So it's a real pain in the neck to get into her case for me to just hook up a hard drive. Because all of the GNL stuff, sh show stuff, goes on just a three and a half inch drive. You know, I really wish it was a two and a half inch drive. Uh, who knows? I might even switch GNL store. I might switch video storage to an SSD. I've been considering this. And switching it to an SSD will allow me to access it with my USB 3 to uh, SATA power and data cable. Because that only works with two and a half inch drives. It can't provide enough power for a three and a half inch drive. And obviously SSD just uber fast and two and a half inch spinning disk drives are kind of slow as hell, which is unfortunate, but, um, I don't know, so maybe I'll do that, because it's only on a 250 gig drive right now, so I could always just throw them on to a 256 gig SSD, I don't know how much one of those would cost, I know I bought a 500 gig, uh, 512 SSD for my mom's, my mom's desktop, or not a 5 so like a 496 or something. I don't remember exactly what it was. It was a 500 gig hard drive. 500 gig SSD, plus or minus, whatever the hell it is, because it's not quite binary. If it, if it was quite binary, it was supposed to be 512. And it was like, I don't even remember. Whatever, stupid crap now. We don't need to talk about it. That was only like 200 bucks. And the 120 in my system now for the OS is, was only like 80 bucks. So somewhere between 80 bucks and 200 bucks is what this one will cost. So I might just do it and make it so I can edit on other machines and stuff like that. But that'll be a long time before I do that if I have to replace my CPU. Because CPU is gonna be like $190 for the one I'm gonna upgrade to. Because if I have to replace it, I'm definitely upgrading. So, if I have to replace it, I'm going to go with the 8370, uh, the FX 8370. Because as it is, the motherboard I'm getting, I'm getting an AM3 Plus motherboard because of the fact that I currently have an FX 6300 in there. Um, and if that works, I great, I have my CPU, I have my motherboard, everything's going. Um, part of the other reason is it will be cheaper for me to get a higher core count CPU from AMD. And my workflow, other than the videos, I need the higher processors, the higher core count at higher speeds. Because the, the, um, 8370 is base. Uh, base 4 gigahertz and turbos up to 4.3 gigahertz on 8 cores. Plus, compared to like a 50, I think it's like a 4770K, the 8370 overclocks better. So, I don't know how that'll work. And maybe if I get that, I'll have to get a 120 rad or something. So, I haven't quite figured it all out yet. Who knows? We'll figure it out, though. I think that's enough me ranting for today. So, if you watch all the way through to this point in the video, go down in the comments below, comment, Oh no, it's not the motherboard. Um, yeah, comment, Oh no, it's not the motherboard. Like the video if you liked it, disliked it, didn't like it, along with that, Oh no, it's not the motherboard comment. 
comment down below telling me what you'd like to see me do in the future. Check out the rest of the guys at Big Box of Gamers, including our newest member, Gordo, over at youtube.com slash bigboxgamers. Check me out on the web at gregc96.com. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me to grow, and I shall see you guys next time. Peace!